Is it Friday already? Does this it mean is. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow? I sleep I in can't. every day, so. I don't. <laughs> I wish I, I could. Tired. I can do what I want when I want. Oh, uh, see, no, we don't have that kind of life, right, Greg? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, believers and seekers or skeptics, if you are, of the inexplicable, welcome to a special evening uh, here on Paranormal. Tonight, we are honored to have a guest who has woven the threads of Supernatural and the comedic into the tapestry of captivating stories and unexplained phenomenon. I, there's a parrot somewhere in there, too. He is not only a talented author, but a gifted comedian and the charismatic host of the YouTube sensation, The, we the Funky Wear Pig. Our esteemed guest, Greg Hall, joins us with tales that will send shivers down your spine and laughter echoing in your ears. Sorry. I'm, some I'm not going to lie to you. I understood <laughs> about a third of those big words. I figured that. Was that good stuff you were saying? Oh, it gets better. Are you ready? No, I'm still trying to figure out. Well, you want to you want to hear? You this. threw out some big P words. I, I think there was a PH to. word. I have to. I, I feel little compared to my writing. Feels little compared to yours. Anyway, <laughs> from capturing haunted orbs on camera to experiencing otherworldly events in his own very own studio we've talked about in the past greg's encounter with the paranormal are nothing short of astounding yet he navigates these mysteries with a unique blend of wit and wisdom making him a true luminary in the realm of the unexplained now as we embark on this journey tonight into the unknown we be prepared to be both enthralled and entertained Greg's ability to seamlessly merge. He, he's not even going to let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> we've, we've been friends for like 30 years. Who are you talking about? You. Oh, can I just put this in a nutshell? I, mean, I understand nutshell. Oh, yeah. I know nutshell what nutshell is. The coolest guy on the face of the earth. That's all you have to say. He's yes. a Renaissance man. This man could do anything. And this he's just oh. definitely just a cool guy. I'm <laughs> hell at Ikea. <laughs> oh, I bet you are. So I would I would I would say that uh Ikea probably said will come to you and say, listen, we're gonna give you a little extra cash just so you know that those extra screws were purposely put in in the package okay <laughs> yeah yeah no i'm so together my my lady love had to run me my my cup of hidden zima right as we were taking off she's like you know, ice for your zima and i was like i think we're live <laughs> where do you get a mug that big <laughs> oh my god that's see that look at it that's that's what that is best day ever Annie, you haven't seen some of the mugs. You know, Pam I looked happy. I sent her a picture of a mug that was like this big. And I mean, it was huge. And you, the woman's holding the handle on one side and the rest of it like this. <laughs> that would be how I'd hold that cup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's it, it saves you for trips. It's like <clears throat> there, there are two kinds of people. There are the people when they bring in the groceries, they make 50 trips. Then there's guys like me who just load up the forearms and you carry it like that so I can make maybe two trips. Maybe two really? tops, you know. I can't, no, no. See, I'll go the distance and even come in the house real quick, grab one of our, you know, we bought this wagon, put everything in there, oh. put everything on one arm, everything on the other arm, and scoot this thing up the ramp. Yep. Yeah, see, okay. I got boy childs, though. I got the, the evil boy childs. I break out a wagon. I'm not putting any groceries in there. They're going for free rides. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, and, well, I like, and, and one's 30 and one's 20. Stop put it. Put the free ride. Come on. Yeah, they get all giggy. 
they get, you know, I had to take 10 years off between kids. My kids are actually 10 years apart because I was so magnificent. I needed, I needed to recoup. Oh, sure, sure. I don't blame you. I the first one. I was spectacular. Yeah. And yeah. then I said, oh. You know, <laughs> no, I got a feeling that was your lady love who said, uh-uh. <laughs> Build yeah. these clothes. Go back. <laughs> yeah. And then when I hit fifty, it was like, well, it's been another ten years, and I went, no. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm happy with my Zima. We're good. Daddy's there retired. Go. There you go. <laughs> Although I can still sport the uh, David Cassidy haircut. You guys dig it? Oh, really? What do you mean? Oh, really? Okay. You can't see it from where you're at? This is this is. Uh... I mean, I wasn't thinking David Cassidy with this. I, no, I, you know, I was, no, I was trying to think. I do have a person in mind, but it just it's not hitting me yet. Um, well, we we got a while. Work on it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah. If, and for those of you at home, the the younger generations who don't know who David Cassidy is, he's worth the Google search because uh, he he might be your grandfather. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. that kind of guy. Or was. I about that. Yeah he, yeah, he was the stuff in the 70s. Oh, definitely. He was on my wall. Really? See, I yeah. I figured you came later. I figured you were a Sean Cassidy gal. Mm. <laughs> really? See, I wouldn't Tony have picked... Osmond, David Cassidy. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't wow. have... Okay. I thought you were a little younger, so you were going Bless for the Sean your Cassidy. Heart. No, I'll give I, you, I, I believe the Donny Osmond part. Donny Osmond. I still have a picture of Donny Osmond on my wall. So no no, uh, no harm, no way Now, make sure he's not next to, you know, your your love life there, you know. No. Mary no. Lou Retton. You know, you don't want to mix those two together. Mm -mm. I, was, I was so happy today because um, I got some new things, collectibles. I have a huge display case in my, my bedroom. Yeah, a three tier display case and um, got some new things. So I was rearranging it and I was like, well, you, you now have to go to the bookshelf down in the basement. You have to do this, you know, whatever, because <laughs> I only have such limited space. And I was so happy because I could still keep my autographed Mary Lou Retton book that she oh. signed to me with a little heart. Oh. oh, so does that mean the restraining order has been lifted? <laughs> no, oh, well. no. I, I was it was wishful thinking, I guess. I think it's wishful better thinking. that way. It adds intrigue, <laughs> adds mystery. Sure, you know. sure, sure. I don't want to come on too strong. You know, I like to keep it at a hundred yards. So yeah, yeah. The one ah! Annie has on the one, the one Annie has on me is two hundred yards. Oh, so, Honey, I would never, ever, <laughs> ever do that. Ever. Yeah. All right. So All right. let's let's do a, a quick review here. Um, I know we did a show. Man, I have to go back. Uh, it's been. Wow. Uh, actually, almost a, exactly a year to date. No. No. Yep. yep. I haven't been on your show for a year? Well, no. This particular show that I'm going to mention oh, was okay. a year ago, which was where we talked about the ghostly orb. Oh, yeah. Had a now, there was a show, show after that where we talked to you where we were talking about the faces that were in the window behind your son in that one you picture. found those i didn't know that they were there until you pointed them out okay but and now i didn't I'm... like that show I... <laughs> really I, like, I blacked it out i've just it's no because i so that's what i was gonna I do i didn't see the any of that stuff did until you... you were well did you follow up with it did you look into it or anything no i did not you scared the hell out of me <laughs> you don't have to live here I have to live here. And then hey, you're showing hey. me faces in my window. Don't don't make me get Renee in here and tell have her tell you about the haunting in your bathroom. Renee is already here. <laughs> oh, I believe it. <laughs> I can it's doing she's that here now. Yeah. Voice. This astral plane. <laughs> Heavy on the astral. 
<laughs> so yeah, she's, but, she's dangerous. But I am kind of curious. Uh, you know, you have actually experienced quite a bit of unexplained phenomenon while you've done different things. Any yeah. any new events? Oh yeah, every day. Every day. Here here's the deal. Um I I used to debate her all the time, Lady Love. Uh, but I, the, the more time goes on, I think she might be right. And I, and it's hard for me to admit this. Um, when, when I was growing up, there were freaky things that went on. Then we lived in this house in Maryland when I was, uh, all throughout the high school years and that place. Where was that? Uh, uh, I, I grew up in Harford County. Harford County? Harford County. Okay. So, uh, you know, and it was, it was a lot of country. It was a lot of, you know, like we were one of the first houses that went up, uh, uh, before though I went through there like a couple of weeks ago. I don't recognize any and of you it. You didn't stop ever. by and say hi. I didn't know you. Uh -oh. I was only, I moved there when I was like 10 or 11. No, you, you just said you yet. went through there a couple of weeks ago. You're not in Harford County, are you? No. Oh, well then you didn't come well, meet me in no. Harford County. <laughs> You're in the same airspace. And nothing's well, depending on the map, we're all in the same no. airspace. He's got you there. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's um nothing is too far from anything in Maryland. That's true. That's it's true. not Texas, darling. Oh, I was gonna oh, you're so lucky you stumbled on that part because I was gonna say if it's not that far, how come you're not over here visiting? <laughs> But that, uh, so yeah, in Hartford County, we had this house and it was built on old farmland and whatever. Uh, and we were one of the first houses there. And that place was freaky deaky. That place was legendary spooky. I mean, everybody saw stuff. It wasn't just like one person go, I saw a weird, you know, light come in and then it moved and whatever. Or I heard a noise once. I mean, it, it's one of my favorite stories. We had a front door that we never used because it was this giant front yard. Uh, so everyone came in through the carport. And uh, um, I figured out over the years, because so many strange things happen, that if I sat up on the counter in one corner of the kitchen, I could see every entryway. So no spook was going to get me. I could see it coming. But our front door, we always kept locked because we never ever used it. Well, you'd be there alone. You'd walk down the hallway, down the steps, come by. You'd look down the, you know, into the into the alcove area or whatever, and the front door would be wide open. Mm. It's like what the hell? So crazy stuff like that. One night, it would, it would there, there'd be times where like it would sound like the somebody took like the clothes hamper and just flipped it down the stairs. Ba -ba 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 Boom! You'd run up the stairs, look on the landing, nothing. Nothing. And you sure that wasn't you throwing one of your siblings down the stairs? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> and we'd have a the whole line. different topic tonight. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. That's a, whole nother, just, that's a whole other show, Greg I just siblings. got a Goonies moment, and I pushed my sister down the stairs, and I blamed it on the dog. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, it was a spooky. Yeah. Ghosted it. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it was just... Uh, but one night I had I had every light in the house on, called my best buddy and said, get your ass over here. This is, dude, freaky stuff is happening tonight. So he's a good old country boy, comes in. There ain't nothing going on. He's stomping around every room in the house. Ain't no ghost here, ain't no ghost there, ain't no ghost anywhere. I'm still in my strategic place in the kitchen, keeping an eye out everywhere. He comes in the kitchen and goes, oh, I don't know what your problem is, man. There is nothing going on. And he throws out this challenge, which you never do. He said, there's a spook in this place. Show yourself. Every light in the house went off. Last thing oh. I saw was his eyes go, boo, whip, like a cartoon character. <laughs> and I ran over him on my way out the door. <laughs> Plastered him. Boom, flattened him. Yeah, I was out. I was out. I was and here him. I was thinking you were going to say it was him that ran. <laughs> no. No, I was, I was already, yeah. So stuff like that was happening all the time. And then... 
And then Lady Love and I get married. We moved to Florida. She had never seen weird stuff before. First night in our first apartment together, she starts seeing spooky stuff all over the place. We had a buddy of ours uh, uh, use the bathroom and was locked in the bathroom for an hour. And we couldn't move the doorknob on the inside or outside. He was saying stuff was re- moving in the mirror in there and whatever. And he was like in a mad panic. We couldn't we couldn't budge the door at all and it wasn't locked. It just wouldn't move. So that happened. Then we obviously move all the way out here. We went on the story. Stuff happens here all the time. My, my boys see it all the time. It's crazy stuff. And then you know what Lady Love says to me? She says, huh. I don't think the house is haunted. I think you're haunted. And and well, we have, I wouldn't say this, Greg, but that kind of went through my mind too. Yeah, I was gonna say I've heard of attachments, I've heard of those things following the individual. So that is very much a possibility. Unless huh, you're very so open. You can have a haunted person. Yeah. 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 It is it has been known uh that there have been spirits that have basically attached themselves to a person. And everywhere the person went, they ended up having some well, kind Dan, of. Can you blame them? <laughs> He's such a charismatic guy, right? <laughs> sure, sure. I'm a ghost party just waiting to happen. Yeah, ghost magnet. So, oh yeah, yeah. Because right, what was hey. the old term? Chick magnet. That guy's yeah. a chick magnet. Yeah, nah, not nah. anymore. No, not me, man. I've always been a, a ghost magnet. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I have oh. something for both you and Annie tonight. Actually, I have two somethings, but the first one's already ready to go. This quick question, is- though. Can I ask you a quick question, though, before we go off topic? Sure. If I'm a ghost magnet, can I be demagnetized? Honestly, yes. If you get exercised, maybe. Well, I don't no, think I have to go have, as far as being exercised. Be I hate exercise. Yeah. Well, do we'll you just have, fade uh, you a lot and throw a lot of holy water on you. Yeah, just just dip them in the holy water. <laughs> just 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 throw holy water on me. All right. So this clip that I'm going to show you is sent into another uh, show on YouTube called Mind Junkie. Mind and, Junkie. And you will see that it's sent in by an individual by the name of Zombie Six Six Zero R. No, it's not our zombie, Zach, which would be kind of cool, but no. So they're going to tell you the story, but I want you to watch as close as you can. And and I'm keeping our faces here so people can see our reactions. But I really do want to know. Yeah, I got to adjust so I can see it. Capturing their children's impressive cup stacking talent. What began as an innocent family moment took a chilling twist that has left them grappling for answers. This wasn't just a typical home video as the cameras rolled. An occurrence so startling unfolded that the family was rendered speechless. Did you see it? On the shelf behind the children, a doll creepily takes on a life of its own, mysteriously sitting up without any visible force guiding it. The family, oblivious to the doll's movement behind them, continue on like nothing happened. Upon revisiting the footage, the family's initial delight turned into sheer horror, struggling to comprehend the doll's unexplained movement. The footage was aptly titled, Possessed Doll, Real Ghost footage. Yet, the burning question remains, is this an authentic brush with the supernatural? So, uh, your take. A doll that sits up while everyone's having fun. Obviously not a situation where you would say, oh, well, that's just, uh, you know, some kind of weird whatever. But, you know, I kind of I didn't have this one for last week. Sorry. But what do, what do you guys think? That thing just sat up because we wanted to see what was going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a hell of a show. That that 
that lady was pretty good with the cups. I got to admit yeah. that. So, yeah, um, yeah. See, I, I, I'm a jerk when it comes to these things. I'm a jerk. I'm, I'm worse than you are sometimes, EW, being a skeptic. Because I have so many questions. So, a couple things. One, because I, I, I also do a lot of directing, a lot of camera work and stuff myself for the, for the different shows and projects I've worked on over the decades. So here's the questions I have. What is the purpose okay. of the doll up there to begin with? Uh, if, it was well, a display, since it's... If, if it was a display case, then who knocked the doll over? Because you can't see it until it sits up. Right. So why was the doll laying down? There's no purpose for it to be up. On the, the other ones are up. Why was that one already knocked down? Uh, number exactly. two. Number two. If you're doing a display thing, showing somebody's skills moving cups... Why is the camera pulled back so far? It's pulled back so well, I can make sure you see the doll. You would pull it in close to show me moving the cups. Well, that's why I've wanted you for this next video. And this one. Yeah, no, I'm I, not saying I'm not saying I should say I, I'm not saying that that doll isn't possessed because I don't want it showing up at my house. And I don't want it <laughs> we up already know behind me. Yeah, we already know these dolls exist. I mean, last yeah. week we had Kevin Kane. He'll take care of it. <laughs> but, yeah. but I am saying, from a director's eye and whatever, if I'm going to be marveled at you doing the cups, why would I have such a wide shot unless I wanted to catch the doll sitting up? That was my thought. That was my thought, too. There had to be... Been... See, they actually do have you... Uh... Oh, good movie to catch it on is uh the ghostbusters with the with uh melissa mccarthy okay and there's a there's a scene where the guy who's guiding the tour through the house actually has a remote in his pocket that he presses so this it puts out this little kickstand and makes the candle uh -huh. fall over. i thought of the same kind of concepts yeah. that's why some of these videos when we get i need them, one we, of those in the morning right <laughs> <laughs> just to roll out of bed. <laughs> I already have it. It's called my wife. <laughs> the alarm's going off. Get out of bed. <laughs> but, <laughs> and no remote needed. Um, <laughs> but this would be one of those situations where you could see that and you could instantly do that. Now, we can explain that. We could possibly explain this next one, but the third one, I'm still yet to explain. So, let me put this one in now this is thanks to slap tam uh one of my favorite guys who does a lot of chilling uh videos so to say but in this particular one this couple had some haunted explain I'll, I'll let him explain it hold on it's viewers with entertaining family adventures but in mid-2022, the tone shifted dramatically when they uploaded an eerie clip from their home security camera. The brief 18-second video captures a perplexing scene in their rented apartment. Watching that again, as the house lights momentarily dim, a shadowy figure materialises, seemingly out of thin air. The channel owner later shed light on the backstory, explaining that since relocating to this residence from Arizona two years prior, their family life had been punctuated by a series of inexplicable occurrences. They often heard footsteps echoing through the house when no one else was around, and doors would spontaneously open and close. Moreover, a recurring nighttime event involved kitchen cupboards eerily opening and slamming shut. Concerned for his children's safety, Okay, so in that part, he's they go in and show the him looking at the children. But did you not hear the doors mysteriously opening on their own? No. Well, I mean, he mentions that. As I, I didn't hear it, I believe it. Um, that was pretty cool. That was now, pretty cool. I've seen similar camera tricks in movies, but. How do you do that with a security camera instant right there? That was one that I've been trying to roll through my head unless they could take it and then do edits within the... Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it. it anytime, it, one of the best tricks you can do when editing and trying to whatever, uh, one of the go-tos is go to black. Because even if I can get a second of blackness, I can jump in there and edit whatever I need to by matching it up to the next segment if that's completely black. So anytime I see that, that's what I think, it, that editing is a possibility if it's black. Still, I thought it was pretty cool the way they did it. Um, and as far as like security camera footage, that's just like any other camera. That's just like any other film or, or video, or whatever that you can edit. Uh, um, heck, half half the kids in America can edit this together while we're talking, and 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 do stuff on their phone. So it's, I know it's all, that's, you know that's the worst that part. Stuff. Um, if there's edited video of Annie actually talking the entire show. Are you being a smart? No, not me. I'm. Say I'm. It, I'm... Say it. Say it. <laughs> well, she still has to travel down to Texas, so I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna come down there and steal your lambs. That's all. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, but but, no, but I will say that that one was really cool. That one was was uh, uh, if if obviously it was something that they edited together, they need to do that professionally. They, yeah. they need to start doing horror movies. And no, you know what? You make so much more money when you go to YouTube and have a ghost video or something. And then that's... 22 billion people come look at it and you get all that YouTube money. Dollar, dollar, yeah. bill, yo. Yeah. Well, see, and that's one of the things I thought of, Andy. I don't know if you actually thought that too, because we've done some of these videos over the last several years, right? Right. And have you ever thought that some people have put it together just to create money on YouTube? Yeah. Never gave it a thought. Really? Oh, oh no. Okay. No, I'm, I'm surprised. I honestly would have thought you did. Okay. Yeah, uh, because no, some of them are really sketchy, and I would have thought, you know, I wasn't the only one thinking that. But okay, maybe yeah, I know. You so we're have... supposed to be making money, and I don't know it? Well, supposedly, if you get enough, it's, I don't understand the routine. But this next video should look pretty familiar. <laughs> yeah. I know that place. Yeah. 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 And I also recognize, look, there's a not so blurry camera of somebody up there. Oh, I know that guy. <laughs> That's old. Yes. But this is an actual haunting caught on film. Yeah, Do you remember what up. video this is, Annie? Yeah, wouldn't it? Um, I I know that's his house because yes, this is going. Picture. That's I'm going to steal the, the lamps are going to go between the picture when I steal that. So, uh huh. <laughs> he she wants that picture, Greg. <laughs> okay, I'll get you another. All right, here we go. So if you noticed, it came really quick, but we're going to end up going through this in this uh, where I actually slowed it video down so we could see this orb appear out of the wall. Okay. So we argue about orbs quite often. Yeah, they, they can be anything. They can be a dust speck. A lot of times they're bugs. If you slow it down like you always do, EW, a lot of times you can actually see the wings once it's slowed down or more but of a that was shape. Something, yeah, but that was something we could not do this round. This it's an was, absolute circle. Yeah. This, this it, right it here. It came above. out of the wall. Oh, let's get that out of the way. Let's, ah, I can never click the right button. Okay, let's do this again. So as we can see, this orb does not yes. show. Yes. Can I brag about something? The, yes. You just did something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> I always love on these haunted specials when they draw an orb around the orb. Yes. I've, I've made it now. I have finally made it. You've made it. Usually, yes. I'm like, well, there's already the circle. So when you <laughs> circle the circle, oh, that's, that's the heights. I 
what I want to point out is that we get this if we take it back a hair and then play it. This is where we stop it. Now, this is the section it comes out of in the wall. If this is where I'm saying this is one of the few times that I cannot debunk a bu- uh, an orb. Because if it was a bug, we've said this already. I think we said it during that episode as well, that it would have come up and then towards the light. But what actually we saw was it like emanates out of the wall. And that's what made this different. So we'll exit that out. And I want to there. And here's the dealio too. I should point this out. None of us saw that until we looked at the footage. So and the whole thing was it was supposed to be out of a joke until right, the right. Earth I mean, we're, we're a comedy show, <laughs> right? We're a comedy show, and we were actually doing a, a. We have our own haunted show that we do with our own host Grody Wales, and uh, um, he. Um, he narrates it and then spotlights things. And on this particular one, we were doing orbs and we were showing the easiest way to fake orbs, but we were acting like we were astonished and shocked. And in this one, this leads down to the studios. This, this staircase leads down to our no pants on studios. And, um, the joke was we, we had it all dark upstairs. Boy child 2.0 was laying at the top step with a flashlight shining it under the door back and forth. And I was speaking everything I could remember from French one, because sometimes the foreign <laughs> clips they get, get more hit. So I'm saying stuff like, you know, uh, Pepe Le Pew, oh, you know, any, any kind of French thing I could think of, uh, too sweet, you know, Mandu, and uh, uh, anything I could say just to throw in there. We open up the door. We see it underneath the door, the lights. I'm like, oh, shocked. How can that possibly be done? And then when I fling the door open, the beautiful part about it is I fling the door open, turn on the lights, and we can't find the lights. We're we're on ghost lights. And the joke is he's laying at my feet. That's if I kept the camera, if I moved it down, you'd see him. But, you know, how can this possibly be done? And in being the jerks, we were making fun of them. Apparently, we pissed off an orb that said, hold my Zima. Yeah, look what I can do. And it flew out of the wall right past my head. I'm, I'm the one that holding the camera. It flies right past my head. I didn't see a thing. I didn't see while we were shooting, whatever. It was when we were going back looking at the footage, the boys were like, what is that? And I'm like, that's an orb. Did we? And we're like, no. So... In making fun of orbs, apparently we pissed it off enough that they 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 had uh, the last laugh. They yeah. they uh, it we, revealed we itself. It out. There it is. Now, can you do me a favor? Okay, yeah. see see it's coming out now. Uh huh. Can you do the thing where you, if it's back in the wall, if you can put it back in the wall. Okay. Can, I guess you'd have to rewind it a little bit. Yeah. Then draw that circle again. And I oh, want to see it fly out and go through the circle. Like it's going through a hoop like a dolphin. That oh, would be I, wish the best. I, can, I wish I could make that circle stay, but we'll try. Oh, no, it won't just stay? All right, now let's see if you can shoot the orb through the hoop. Oh, oh not oh, close oh, enough. <laughs> oh, so close. So keep going. Keep going. It might go through. It might curve through like a good field goal. It could. It could. Let's see. <laughs> but, yeah, this was the clip that we had from you. And, you know, I mean, there was a bunch of other things that have happened in your studios that uh, oh, yeah, that really get people wondering, you know, is there something going on? But here's not – this is not where my question comes in, okay? I don't think it's going to move anymore. That's Okay. Um, I'm going to count it as good. It yeah. It. All right. Woo-hoo. Okay. <laughs> um, but here's my thing. Something I've noticed when we've been doing investigations over the years, 
is we seem to get more activity when people are having fun. Really? I'll have to try that. Yeah. Um, there, you know, like my other cat before she had passed away at the other house, I would play with her, you know, I'd have like a string or something and I would play with her going up and down the hallway. And then all of a sudden when I wouldn't, we'd see her doing the same thing. And we're like, the heck is she doing? And the only thing we could figure was that, you know, maybe the ghosts are playing with her was a joke that we made at first. But turns out because there was a child ghost in this house, Ugh. it's exactly what was happening. Yeah, well, we have a little girl upstairs uh -oh. on the top floor. Uh, uh, never wanders. We have those steps that go like this, and then there's a landing, and then it goes down again. So right. Kind of like that, whatever. And she will come down to the landing, but that's it. She won't ever go past the landing. But she'll scare the crap out of me. It's I've only seen her a few times. But uh, we have the long hallway upstairs with bedrooms on either side and whatever. And I'll uh, I'll be coming up the stairs, going to my bedrooms on that side, and turn back around. And the freaky thing is standing right there at the other end of the hallway. And it's hmm. weird. Like most, most ghosts, I assume, because that's the way it always is in the movies, you always see the top half, maybe, and then by the bottom half they get blurry. She's the opposite. You can see like the bottom part of you can see like her legs and a little dress, and as she gets upward, that's all that's all faded away. So I assume I don't mean to insult any but any ghost out there, or whatever. I assume it's a little girl. I I uh, it could Kevin just be. sent us the picture of the ghost that he captured, the little girl ghost. And the way you just described it made me think the same thing. I don't know if you thought that or not, Annie. I'm we sorry, were joking what was about it, but the looking at I'm... the little ghost picture that uh, Kevin caught. Do you remember? Oh yeah, me sitting on the floor. <laughs> that was the joke we were making, but this is the actual yeah. image that he captured. Oh, that's weird. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Even Tom, I showed it to Tom, and he said, wow. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to make a big big thing about it, because, see, Kevin collects haunted dolls. But to me, if you oh, look yeah. at the head, it kind of looks like a Miss Piggy head. Yeah, I can't see that clearly. Nah, well, it depends, because now this one, well, I'm seeing it from here, this way. This is like she's looking out. She's got bangs. She's got long hair. And she's sitting on the floor with her knees up. See, I didn't see her as sitting, but okay. Huh. That's unique. That's different. So this is not anywhere close to what you saw, was it, Greg? No, no, no. No. It's We just get like the bottom. That, at least me. And I've only seen it a couple times. Uh, um. Or mostly you, you catch her out of the corner of her eye because the stairs come down into like our, our, our living area, our TV room kind of thing where we all hang out. So the stairs come down. So if you're sitting on the couch watching TV, you can see out of the corner of your eye every once in a while movement and you look and then it's like gone. But right. That's, you know, but the only time I saw it kind of full on was, like I said, it was it was reverse, the top half dissipated but the bottom half you can see like a little have you dress, ever seen a the top lights. half no no i mean in real life i have i've been lucky enough that god you know uh uh especially when i was dating i've seen some top halves but the most i think that's her part. angry face <laughs> you're in trouble now greg <laughs> i answered the question yeah you did you did <laughs> I assume she was saying I didn't have enough, you know, in my history, and I didn't have enough uh, uh, that I wouldn't have been able to identify a top half. If That's not what I'm it. saying, but anyway, I'm just thinking this. Oh, was your did you buy your house already built? Yes. Okay. 
How old's your house? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I would say 25, 25 years old. Okay. I wow, just, really? I was just thinking, um, I had a family friend who lived by the water or uh, thing, and uh, he was watching the baseball game and looked out through the living room to like the dining room. And there was this little girl, but she was off the floor. That from wherever that was there before, she's standing on a floor that no longer exists. Oh, okay. This person, ghost child, be standing on something that you cannot see up. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Well, when like I saw her, I'm 6'2". When I saw her, she was short. If She she might have been above the floor because I was too busy screaming and running like this. I've been there, yeah. So, uh, uh, trying to get to the stairs before she could block me. Uh, um, she uh, she appeared to be on the floor. And, and, and the reason I say she was a little girl because, you know, she, she was, you know, little thing so right we're, uh, uh, but but again you know I, I i i should preface all this by saying this is filled with zima i drink seven of these a day so i see all kinds of things that probably aren't there and that well, when you start seeing pink elephants let us know that'd be cool i'd like a pink elephant actually i never mind i'm gonna leave that one alone um <laughs> so let's mention that greg of course has the wonderful uh funky wear pig uh facebook page that everyone can go to uh on there you can check out all the different videos hey, that's that my youtube have. page check that, that out is your youtube page yes i know that and guy. everybody could check out the link that's streaming down below so they could go and visit your page and uh Thank you. Yeah, and it's real easy. I know there are thousands and thousands of wear pigs everywhere, but I'm the funky one. So yeah. just if you ever type in funky wear pig anywhere, I'm... it will take you to YouTube or if you're on Google, funky wear pig, that'll take you there. Whatever, you know, yell it out in the street. Someone will go, he's over there. Oh, I, I know. I, every time I've had to <laughs> worry about the yelling, it was devil monkey. <laughs> the, uh, but this is a really cool season for us. We just did our season premiere last Friday. Was our right. was our for season four? We're up, we're up to season four now, and this season in January we hit our fiftieth episode. Whoa, fifty! Wow. Yeah, fifty episodes. So we're pretty because this is this is an old old fashioned. This is an old school talk show. You know, this right. is like a variety show. This isn't like a, a, you know, in a TikTok world where you can just zap, 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 zap. You know, these are like completely structured, you know, hour long variety show, old fashioned talk show kind of uh, episodes. So to hit 50 of those, we're, we're pretty proud. We're pretty proud. It's going to yeah. be fun. Well, something else that everybody should do, and I got to mention that because it's kind of more fun to do. Especially since this is signed to, uh, let's see, make sure it doesn't say hit him. Okay, yeah, no, then this would this would be for me. Um, <laughs> you got to get your hands on smile when it's what big enough. I to... got mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's our that's right our funky here. wear fun book. It's uh, we just put out a fun book just for just to. You know, like the like it says, just for fun. There's some yeah. stories in there, and all. And then, if you watch the show, uh, the characters from the show each have their little segment in the book. So, it's one. Well, of I had to, I had to hide something, because I woke up one day and was scared to death. I could not figure out why my wife's face changed, and I woke up to this sitting next to me <laughs> <laughs> and it yeah. says what <laughs> hit him <laughs> yeah. i need to get one of those to put up on my wall 
Do you want to hit him? You can't have it hit him. <laughs> she I'll loves take, take that with the lamps too. EW. Uh huh. So, yeah. Well, yeah. that was actually autographed to Stella. So that's right. The uh, yeah. <laughs> no, the uh, the fun books you can just get off Amazon. Funky Wear Pick Fun Books. It's called Smile When It's Big Enough. And and my goal there was to help people uh, um, who get criticized for never reading because nobody ever has the time and reading is exhaust and it's words and whatever. So we make these fun books that will not be over 100 pages. They're not over 100 pages and they got lots of pictures so you can flip through them easy and then say, I read a book this week. <laughs> so that way everybody's a winner. But... Uh, Oh, Look camera won't said. focus. 99. See? Boom. But doesn't... Okay, it's... those are blank. There's blank. But you can, you can doesn't read Doesn't that count as a page? Well, then that would be 100, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's at 100. Okay. <laughs> so it's, uh... Not over 100, you okay. Read, you can read the blank pages, too. That's fine. That that's yeah. when you use your imagination. It could be anything on that page you want it to be because it's blank. So. All right, Annie, I have to ask on this orb situation, real or not? Yes. I have to agree. It's one of the few one of the rare cases of an orb that I cannot debunk. It's it's I'm I I will be honest with you. I think orbs are laughable for the most part. I think orbs are what paranormal specialists and investigators go to when they haven't found crap after five hours. I think <laughs> yeah. they can always find an orb somewhere. And, and you know, if, if you've spent five hours in a place or you've got a, a weekly TV show, go to the orbs. Cause, yeah. cause I mean, it's not like else. we can say, ooh, there's an orb in the room. Oh. Um. <laughs> you know, but uh, so for a guy who always criticizes orbs and, and just I think they're a joke, which is one of the reasons we were making fun of them in the show. That that I thought was somebody's way of saying, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah let me show you. you know, mm -hmm. I got punked. I got punked. So uh, the ghost pulled it out. That's why I asked you guys to review it and go over it, because uh I'm not educated enough to, to know the ins and outs about a lot of these things, but I will tell you, we didn't put it there, and I didn't see it when it happened. So that's what made it freaky to me, and, when, and especially, like I said, when it came out of the wall. Yeah, yeah. seriously. That's, that's the, the part that... Somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I don't it comes care out, how many makes a hard turn, and goes that. right by my head. Right. You can replay that over and over, and you'll never find that it... I mean, because it just looks like it it just, boop, it's right there all of a sudden coming up out of the wall. It's not like, like it, you know, activity of a bug, none of that stuff. Yeah. And if it was a bug coming at your head, you would have moved. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Otherwise, Sometimes I'll, I'll bring it. Bring yeah. it. Smack <laughs> me right in the forehead. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. So, Greg, set us up for this one. Before we play it. <laughs> oh, okay. Real quick. This is one of the shows we do. This is, is part of the Funky Wear Pig. And we do a lot of different comedy skits. We always interview guests. Like, we just had Courtney Gaines. Right. Uh, uh, one, one, our mutual buddy, Courtney Gaines. Though he, though he hates my guts. I will tell you <laughs> that. He absolutely despises me. I interviewed him in the interview in the show for the premiere. Uh, I think we talked for 28 minutes. I actually talked to him for about another half hour on top of that, but I had to edit it all out because he gave me the finger 224 times. <laughs> Anytime I would start asking a question, he'd flip it. So that guy hates my guts. So yeah, yeah we had to edit it down to 28 minutes. Cause so you used to have, you used to have a safe word on the radio show, <laughs> but maybe now it's just a safe gesture. Yeah. I think it's, I think he's opted for sign language. Yeah, yeah, I that think makes what sense. He's <laughs> for, so. But uh, but real quick plug, one of the cool things about Courtney is not only is he famous with the movies Children of the Corn and Memphis Bell and uh, Sweet Home Alabama and stuff like that, but he's also a musician and he just put out a new uh, CD 
I think they still call them CDs, albums, whatever. And you should check it out. It's called Safe Haven. And uh, uh, yeah, so equally as a musician, he's amazing. He's fantastic. Okay. I've been a big fan of for years. So I'm plug for you. And hopefully we can we can bond again, Courtney. Now, now that I've well, given you the plug for Safe Haven, we can. You'll like me again. I'm pulling it like this for a moment so I can see his face. I want to see his reaction to this. But the I am going to create a new YouTube page for okay. another show. And one of my guests coming up on that show is already booked. And that is Mr. Courtney Gaines for Free Pie Night. Yeah. We're bringing Free Pie Night back. And Courtney did confirm that he would do it. <laughs> and I want to... You let me know because I want to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a couple of people I'm working on lining up, some comedians, uh, of course, actors, uh, authors, and so forth. So we're going to have a big lineup coming out pretty soon. But there's some other things in the work, which we'll talk about later. Courtney but likes you. He really <laughs> digs you. He speaks highly of you. You'll have a great time. I cried. I, I cried all weekend after our premiere. <laughs> He was, you know, he was mean to me. It was funny when when I saw him last year at that con out here, oh, yeah. at Halloween con. You, you guys called me up at the house. Yeah, and he's like, who are you calling? And I'm like, oh, you'll see, you'll see. And you answered. He's like, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> and then gave gave the finger to the phone. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, I mean, all you yeah. could do was hear the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, no, it's... Uh... He's an awesome dude. And you'll, you, if you get the chance to see the premiere episode, uh, uh, like Definitely. I said, we just put it up last Friday, so it's still fresh. Yes, um, and we'll, we'll... I will tell you that we had to end the interview because Courtney nailed me so badly that I just said, we're out of here. I'm ending the show right now. I was wondering why it ended that way. I really was because I was like, wait. Greg doesn't end a show like that. What the heck? Yeah, I ended the interview with him because he he just went smack, 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 smack. <laughs> and I went, okay, I'm waving the white flag. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yeah. We're done. I've so, I've produced quite a few of your shows in the past, yeah. and I know how most of them end, and I was shocked <laughs> when that one ended yeah. like that. No, it was fun. We, we actually wound up talking for like another 15 <laughs> minutes after that, but I we, we just agreed. That's how you got to end the interview. Yeah. With yeah. him just it, it smack, smack, smack it, and then both of us laughing our butts off and just right. calling it a day. Yeah, so, always in with always in with laughter. But what you were talking about in this show, uh, or what you wanted to show there, yep. uh, and I appreciate this, uh, uh, we do full-fledged skits, like a Siren Alive thing. These are two characters that Boy Child 2.0 and I do. Uh, Gretchen Bloom who is uh, um, a tribute to to psychics who maybe not are as psychic as possible. You know what I mean? There's a lot right. There's a lot more of them than the real psychics. When you meet a real psychic, you know it's a real psychic. Gretchen might be fringe. And Vincent is her sidekick. Okay. So this is a, this is a coming attraction because they're going to be touring this summer. Oh, nice. Okay. To a, to a uh, maybe a town near you. You know, a lot of psychics come touring through, and then the audience comes in, and then they do different readings right there live. This is Gretchen and Vincent announcing their tour uh, okay. coming up. And um, pay close attention because two people near and dear to my heart, uh, they get a nod. They oh. get a nod uh, All right. from, from the commercial. Uh, because of their praises for Gretchen and Vincent. So, all right, let's find out. Foretelling the future, uncovering the secrets of the past, speaking to loved ones that are no longer among us. What you are about to see is for reals. Welcome to Gretchen Bloom, kind of psychic. Even before she was born, little Miss Bloom knew she had special powers. As a child at stomach camp, a druid said with practice and a lot of peyote, little Gretchen could open her mind to another dimension. Now, with astral projection, chicken bones, and a Disney pass leading to many portals of hell, 
Gretchen Bloom can talk to the dead. Now, kinda psychic with your guide, Gretchen Bloom. I'm gonna say, Mama Sam, Mama, Mama Sam. <laughs> I am Gretchen Bloom. I have been described as freakishly kinda psychic. Gretchen Bloom, kinda psychic, and Vincent are coming to a city near you with their Talking to the Dead Live live tour. Merge with the medium creepy Cleveland magazine calls still on TV. It's our first caller on the Heaven or Hell hotline. Say no more. Who is it and where are they from? Professional skeptic Brad Fute says, most psychics are obviously fake, but Bloom is the real deal. <laughs> Incoming! Evil Annie says, Gretchen may be right less than 50% of the time, but it's with amazing accuracy. They are showing me you are concerned about a woman. They're giving me a name with the letter B. Betty. Brittany. Beyonce. Austin says the name is Tammy. That is correct. Mike B. from Texas says, Gretchen Bloom connected to me like an angel over my shoulder. Remember, when loved ones cross over, they're never really gone. They are still here and they watch over you. Like when you touch your naughty parts in the bathroom. They see that shit and then they show me. So stop it! <laughs> Gina from New England says, Gretchen and Vincent scare the shit out of my children. Grade school kids shouldn't be in therapy. <laughs> it's the Gretchen Bloom kind of psychic talking to the dead live live tour with musical acts, The Grateful Dead, and live. Get your tickets now. For I am Gretchen Bloom, kind of psychic. The Talking to the Dead live live tour, now in a spooky blue font. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit that one was pretty good. Even more impressive was the little pig that was in the background. <laughs> Gretchen has a hormone problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she tunes in. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I like the uh, the the the. What do you call those? The little train wreck. No, the little promotions. The what people say. Evil Annie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get. You didn't hear it, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> you're in trouble, Greg. <laughs> He's never in trouble with me. He knows I love him. <laughs> well, speaking of evil, <clears throat> next Friday is the 13th. Yes. Is it really? It yes. Is. In October? Yes. In October oh. of all times. So we decided we were going to make it even more intriguing. And just because Greg's here, it's going to be the best part to say. We're going to have Miss Renee on for Friday the 13th. She calls this Friday the 13th. You know, the old yeah. calendars used to go from 12 to 14. They'd skip that altogether. Right. Renee invented Friday the 13th. Yeah, that, that's kind of one of those situations where you just kind of have to... Hmm, somebody called it. Anyway, what's what's the odds of me being able to do a shameless plug? Your show. Annie? Go for it. Go for it. I, I see mean, it all the time. Well, I'm just saying, you know, people have talked about my art and seen some of the paintings. As you can see, some of them back here, including 
this one, which is, believe it or not, right there. And you guys can actually order your own prints of the actual paintings. So, um, I've always liked, I like your work. I like your work. I and I'm too. glad that uh, um, I like when creative people who are known for one thing branch off and do another thing just to show they have more talent. So, yeah. uh, uh, well, I always I try. dig that, that you have that artist side of you. I try. But this way, you guys can check it out. You can go to gracefulstrokesstudio.printify.me. Is that a mug? There is a mug. There's even a soy candle. Oh, I don't do candles. I mean, I do candles, but... Well, they have multiple scents on those candles. The reason soy is because soy actually smells better and lasts longer. But yeah, mm -hmm. there's also a coffee mug of a painting, and then of course, not, you don't when when you light the candle, it doesn't burn your art, right? Your art is on the outside no, of the candle. It's right? on the outside, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I hate I would, to look at your work and go, it's melting. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's What's such a thing. Oh. <laughs> Next to the candle. Which one? With it looks like a pen. Oh no, well, that's the phone really case, right? Yeah, they're actually phone cases, as you can... Okay, come on, load up. Why does it not want to load up? There it goes. They're actually phone cases, and they go from anywhere from your Apple, Samsung, and Google Pixel devices. So you can choose. It's a huge list, my friends. Huge list. But you can get the print for the TMV Cafe phone cover. Okay. And, you know brag that hey i'm a supporter of the tmv cafe which doesn't want to load there it goes um <laughs> and you know you can get the cover for your phones i had to throw parts of that in but for the most part this is you can actually order the prints uh you can get them by each one has a different size so you can go 8 by 10 or 11 by 12 or 11 by 14 and as you can see, they are not small prints. They're actually big prints, canvas. So they do have a pretty big side. And yes, my initial, my signatures are on the paintings as well. And this one's called Nocturnal Tranquility. See, yeah. this is what you were doing earlier in the show. Those are two words, too big, back to back. Well, uh, that's... I I'm, you want a guy like me to brag about this? I'm going to be going, it's 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 Nocti Turtle. That's what no, he called it. I, it was you, Nocti Turtle. Just Google search Nocti Turtle. Would you buy a painting that says Peaceful Night? Well, no, I get what you're saying, but play the crowd. It's Everybody, go out and buy tonight Nocti Turtle. <laughs> Nocti Turtle. Okay. Yeah, like there you go. It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But... But I'm well, and, you, that's, and like I said, you do you do get a. We'll take that off so you can see again. So you do see, I do actually hold the originals, and I do. How, how much for the original? I don't know. I've never actually tried to sell a, an original. I, I this is yeah. my first time trying to sell any kind of art, but really? this was the more recent one that I finished that everybody loves, and if you look. Carefully, the signature is actually elsewhere. What Not is that down. Mean? Creative. What is this one called? Yeah. No, Painted. I told you. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Greg. Okay, y'all got y'all got me both. Which one? <laughs> this is. Annie goes first. Annie goes first. Annie first. Okay, go ahead, Annie. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I forgot what she was going to say too. I, I didn't even know what she was going to say. Um. So, what is that one called? City Serenade. See, I got that one. Okay. That. Anyway, you are talented in many areas. Okay, I, I want to... A handbag. Uh, yeah, I've done those purses, but I never sold them. Well, I, I did sell... I, 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 I didn't sell them, like, on a website. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a Brad Fute original. She did. Wow. She got a purse. One of the purses. Yep. Right. Are you Whoa. are you um, attached to those things like uh, Etsy and Lumi? I've gotten stuff from Etsy. I 
I want to, but it's kind of hard. I don't understand all these sites. I really don't. So, but they tell me Lumi, you just rub it all over your body. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Actually, what is it? Printify? No, not Printify. Oh God, I can't think of the other one. Uh, Shopify. Shopify is supposed to be one that you can connect it to, uh, and then you know Etsy also. But but one of my favorites. Oh, I know that one. I like that one. I've yeah. That and the TMV Cafe is actually yeah. on the mug. Yeah. And you want to know what this one's called, Greg? Uh, Steamy Mug. No, would have been a good one, but Cafe Reflections. See? See, I know what that means. <laughs> but but Nappy Turtle or whatever. See, I've already forgotten what that one's called. <laughs> Nappy turtle. Uh, I forgot what that is. So, for those who missed out or just tuning in at the end, you can go check out Greg's uh, wonderful Funky Wear Pig shows. He's already started his new season with Courtney Gaines, and it, streaming down below here is the link to where you can go and find it. Or if you're watching this on YouTube afterwards, scroll down in the com or in the details below. There's an actual direct link to his face or YouTube page and his Facebook page, so you can follow him on both. Cool. I can't even do that. Thank you. <laughs> but I gotta admit, I have watched the uh, a lot of your shows, and I love watching them. I love the interviews. You still really rock them, and I know. Doing them live uh, is a lot easier sometimes, but doing the way you've been doing, I'm sure it takes a lot of work. So, folks, you got to go and support his page. Make sure you like and tell him Thank that you. TMV Cafe sent you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's. I I just I grew up watching the old school type of uh, talk shows where you open up with a monologue and do some comedy skits for fun, you know, like from all the way from laugh into Saturday Night Live. Uh, um, even Kimmel and, and those guys do skits now, you know, Jimmy right. Fallon, they, they still keep that going. And then we have our, our, you know, major part of the show is the interview, you know, for uh, whatever uh, really cool person, celebrity, whatever we get. And then we close up the show as always with, with the best music we can find and, and something you and I have always done and really uh, have been adamant about um, for the most part, we just find indie bands and give them a spotlight because, yep. you know, do you really need to hear Billy Joel? Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay. I can listen to Billy Joel or all that, but if you were yeah, going to add got enough spotlights and he's yeah, got, but he's, if you were going to add a name, uh, you know, the yeah. repeat of Justin Bieber 20 times an hour, you know I mean? Come yeah. On. I just, those guys, those guys are okay. Elton John, you know, all the, every, every those guys are all okay. They don't, they don't need a spotlight. They're all good. You really don't need to put Billy Joel in a spotlight again. He's freaking Billy Joel, you know, right. but uh, like one of my favorite bands, we just had the premiere episode. They've been on a couple of times, uh, a Maryland band named Veer, V-E-E-R. I was going to um, ask you about them. Oh my God. They are, they are, I, I love them because they keep rock music the way it is. You know what I mean? There's, it's really hard to find rock music. Any, anybody that can actually make it anymore. And Veer well, not only still does it, but it's all original. It's See, the all, problem stopped. The problem with that is, is you know, I know how much you like Dokken, but Nina controls that whole market. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't infringe on her territory. So yeah, we 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 Dokken together. We we do the tap, but that's as close as I'm allowed to get to it. But that's uh, right. No, Veer is kind of like, uh, um, oh my God, everything from Pearl Jam to. To, uh, uh, I, that was a little after my time, so I don't know all of them. But Pearl Jam and their friends, Collective Soul. I mean, a lot of that kind of stuff. Live, uh, they kind right. of sound like those groups, but they they're keeping it going, and it's all original. I mean, they they would have destroyed back then, but it's so cool that they're doing it now. Uh, but you can find them at Veer Band, 
Because if you just put Veer, I think it leads you to some kind of energy drink. Right. So you got to put yeah. Veer Band in your search and go there. And, and uh, um, if I wasn't so lazy, I'd reach right over there and show you their latest album. Because they just came out with an album, too. Soft Machines. And it's awesome. It's awesome. So uh, we've got uh, another favorite of mine, Misty Blues, coming up uh, in our Thanksgiving show. Uh, oh. um, Misty Blues is one of my favorite. We actually drove all the way up to New England to see them perform live because I'm such a fan. And I love Gina, the lead singer. And, and I was like, we were going to go up there anyway. And I was just like, let's go up when we can find you know Misty Blues. And I finally got to see them live. I got to see them live. So it was very cool. And you know who else was there? Just who? a name drop. This is this is God's honest truth. You know who all showed up? The, there were two celebrities there that night. Two giant celebrities came out to see Gina and Misty Blues. The other one is a little known actress named Susan Sarandon. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was okay. crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> she was, it was a really big because she was like, hey, Greg. And I was like, and you are? And then I was told, oh, God, that's Susan Sarandon. Um, but no, it's uh, she was actually there. She was actually there, and she's she's still absolutely, positively one of the most beautiful human beings on the face of the earth. I mean, she she looks yeah. exactly the way she looks in the movies. She's she's well, incredible. Speaking of indie music, um, I have to mention. I don't know if you're aware, Austin City Limits started up today. They finally opened the doors and started again. So indie artists are going to get their opportunity to be heard again. Good, 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 good. Yeah. I mean, they do South by Southwest, but the city lim Austin City Limits, which most people know for when they do the unplugged version of some of the big name artists, well, they actually have a section that they bring in unknown artists and, you know, independent artists, and they play them in that. So it's really amazing. So it's an opportunity to, to see that. Yeah. Oh, and there's a comment for you. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Zombie Zach spelled it wrong. There's a U in his morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, I only lost if you're crying or something. Yeah. Well, he comes from a graveyard, so usually he just walks by. Oh, that is right too. Oh, have you ever? Have you guys seen Chain to Busan yet? Is that a, is that a rap group you follow? No, it's I'm a movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tiny uh, movie, and um, I got moon pies. There's moon cookies pies. right there. See the cookies right there. <laughs> moon pies, moon pies. But anyway, we watched that yesterday. The Change of Busan. It has got subtitles, but after a while, you don't even need them. It is such a good movie. And what what is that? What is that? Is that a? It's not a musical, is it? It's yeah. Oh, I tell you, all right, I am a zombie freak. I love zombies. So I was saying to Tom, I mean, I love The Walking Dead. Grew up on, you know, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. And I mean, all, the, all the Romero stuff you dig? Yes. This knocks them all out of the water. 28 wow. days later. Poof. You know, this movie was so good. So if you have a chance to watch it. Uh, well, what's it called again? AMC. Train to Busan. B U S A N. And that's a zombie movie? I've seen it. I've seen the name advertised because we, we go to the theater every once in a while. We just uh, I, uh, uh, we just went to go see um, the 40th anniversary of Stop Making Sense, Talking Heads movie. That They're live in concert. Huge Talking Heads fan, grew up with them. And. Uh, uh, had to take the boy childs and and you know well whatever. 80s movies i mean music's the best hands down anyway yeah this was talking heads live unedited in concert ah. and it was oh i just i i miss them i miss them so i miss a lot of 80s music i miss a lot of things yeah but, don't get me started because romstein was here in san antonio not too long ago and i missed it i'm so bad i actually there are huge parts of the 80s that i miss so, and I'm not just talking about like I miss them. I mean, like I don't remember them. Thank um, you. I was gonna say I, I don't quite have memory for most of that now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that just is. I know I was there because I can do math, but 
I don't remember anything. My lady love had to tell me we've been together for 30 years. I think 20 years ago, she told me what a swatch is. I never heard of swatches. I didn't oh, know what a swatch watch. Like yeah, I didn't know what that was. Really? I, I had a lot of fun in the 80s. I had a lot of fun. I, yeah, I, I can don't see what kind of fun much. you had. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, didn't, I didn't know what that was. Annie, name the movie again, and let's see if ZZ's seen it. Yeah, I was going to ask him if he did. Train, you know, T-R-A-I-N, to Busan, B-U-S-A-N. So Busan is a, is a destination. Yeah, and it's a Chinese movie. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, I guess that's a yes. So he says definitely. I thought that was the greatest thing I've seen in a long time. There you go, Greg. I was in Korea. Well, I know it was Asian. I thought that was China. I wrong. Okay, but it was good. It, it was. was you so, could you, you could say Asian, I, and everybody be okay with it. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. a broader swath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oops. Oh, really? It is a sequel. Not as good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why are we just getting the first one now? Find it then. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. There's a name I haven't seen in a long time. TJ! TJ! Oh, I love TJ. I love Zombie Zach, too, but Zombie Zach already knows that because I praise him all the time because I love Zombie Zach. And we have done so oh, much okay. damage together over the decades. Zombie Zach is pure, unbridled fun and chaos. But TJ, I haven't talked to TJ in forever. Oh, I know. dude, I love you. How you doing, TJ? Been a long time since I've heard from him. Oh, he's awesome, man. He's he's one of the good dudes. Like, like you know how you just, like, You'll hear it like whispers every once in a while, you know. That's a really good dude. That's TJ. That's yep. TJ. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about TJ. Uh, I'm surprised he's not putting your campaign out there again. <laughs> he always tries to get me elected. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well, we're doing a new we're doing a new election thing on the show. Are you really? Yeah, we're we're pushing our own candidate. Uh, oh, um, he's it's not Gretchen, he's, uh, is it? No, Gretchen's busy. Yeah, Gretchen's I guess busy. she didn't see that coming. And, and yeah, and it's not fair for her to run for for president or any office because she knows who wins. She's kind of psychic, uh, um, and damn good looking. I'm gonna say it, damn good looking. Um, <laughs> it looked like she stole that hair from Trump, though. <laughs> which which layer? <laughs> you know, oh, there's a good one. <laughs> yeah, she now, had, now, now. <laughs> no, she had the uh, uh, some of these psychics or crack me up. Or there's a guy on Ancient Aliens. Uh, 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 we call him a uh, Giorgio because uh, uh, I can't pronounce his last name. But he's got that hair that goes up. So it's all about the hair in this business. It's yeah. all about the hair. There's the what is the the New Jersey medium or whatever she's got like that pez hair that you just snap it on in the morning that that stuff's bulletproof she's amazing. no that would be a lego hair that's lego hair yeah that's yeah. lego hair hair yeah. by lego you know? <laughs> yeah um, but um coming to a uh, to a l'oreal near you <laughs> oh my right. god i actually i saw something that now that i say that uh do you know the lady who inherited l'oreal her net worth is eighty billion dollars. How much? Eighty billion. With eighty a billion. Yes. I guess Every she's worth it, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, you didn't even dribble before you took that three pointer. <laughs> that was a half court shot. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's yeah. Ah. Uh, Okay, the softer side of Sears. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, she's definitely worth it. Uh, I'm just still shocked. What would you do? What did you say? Eight billion? Eighty. Eighty, 80 billion. Zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zero. Well, that, now I'm impressed. If it was just eight billion. No, she's who actually have that. She's 80. actually listed as the richest woman in the world. 
at that point, why do you even put in gender? You know what I mean? It's. I bet she's stomping the hell out of a lot of guys too. Uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the, the ones that can't wear makeup or don't want to wear makeup. Let me uh, put it like that. <laughs> we do what we can. Yeah, right. I love you guys because I'm naturally, naturally beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> I have hair and makeup, people. I and and, and you know me. EW, I always show up with like two minutes before airtime because I got to get done did. Yeah, two minutes before airtime and you see these poor women just dripping in sweat. Nervous as can be, shaking and look like they had one too many coffees and then yeah. he's, he's here. <laughs> yeah. I, I look and I just go disperse. It's showtime. <laughs> and then I know I'm ready. That's why I look this way. Yes. Well, I don't know if I'm sorry, Zizi. I don't know if Elon Musk actually has that much money. I saw that. I, I did actually read an article the other day. Yes, he does. Does yeah, he? Yeah, but see, that's this is where it gets weird because I've gotten in these debates with Zombie Zach before. Uh, um, that might be Canadian. Oh, the the. So the, you're talking like over two hundred billion yeah, Canadian now. now. So that comes down to like. <sighs> well, we can always look at five that. million here. I can't remember the. Yeah, exchange yeah, rate. I think five million sounds about right. Yeah, so you can never go uh, off of ZZ's numbers because they're they're Canadian. It's it's the exchange rate. You know, got to remember that exchange rate. But you know what? On the flip <laughs> side, they have Mounties. Uh, when was the last time you saw a Mountie in America? Never. Well, that's not 100% true. It's really you got not them in true. Texas? I, not, I, I, we've actually had Canadian Mounties visit Texas. They actually visit. came down. Well, anybody can visit anywhere. Yeah. Well, they actually came to visit the Texas Rangers, which was ah. kind of a cool seeing Texas Rangers and Canadian Mounties side by side in uniform. Was really freaking cool. All you need to do is add the Swiss Guard. You would have had oh, the whole man. collection. Yeah. Do they really tour? Who? Who? He says. Mounties. Zizi says they tour. Yeah, on the on their horses. <laughs> they jump yeah. over the border, and then they they do one of these. They do the Annie. <laughs> And then they, they, well, I'm going to start a GoFundMe page to get myself a decent chair. There you go. What kind of chair do you have? What, what? What, what? Are you just like sitting on a stool that the top part fell off? What is? No, what, I'm what? actually in an office chair with arms, but it, it's it's so uncomfortable because the way I have to sit, if I don't want my feet to dangle, which they do, because I'm short. And how short are you? How short are you? Way and it, it hurts my sit upon. So the the the, the sit upon. See, this is why I love her so much. That's classic. Wait, the she uses she's using big words, words and and slang terms at me like nappy turtle, and she uses class and says my sit upon. All right. I've got to go back. You know when the very first time Greg ever nailed me on air was. It was you 1922. Remember? I remember it well. No, I remember. I can't forget it. It was, uh, let's see, it was something pudding. Um, because it, uh, it, it was a slang, you know, the slang term, and I made a joke and called it something pudding. And you're like, you're a crackety ass cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to call you out for what you is. <laughs> you cracker ass cracker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very little. It, it was. Oh, pudding it and been, tang. Pudding and tang. Pudding and tang, yeah. It was, it was so, so amazingly white. Five more places opened up around you that did pumpkin spice. That's yeah. how white it was. Yeah, no, it was, he was talking about some classic stuff like pudding tang. And I said, pudding tang? <laughs> and he's like, you're you a pudding tang? Yeah. Are you talking about <laughs> You don't yeah, remember that, do you? Pudding oh, God, tang. You got pudding me good tang. Oh, yeah. my God. Ah, oh, Niagara tang. Falls. Slowly I turn. <laughs> <laughs> step by step. 
Yeah. Yes. So, Annie, let's work on that chair because I don't think I've ever been in a show with you where your sit upon has been happy. Your no, I haven't. Actually, this is, I got this um, from Goodwill after oh, I wow. got rid of the other one because it didn't feel good. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to knit you one and, and sell it to you on Etsy for like a dollar. Okay. You're going to knit one. I could crochet one. All right. Well, let's work together. Let's work okay. together. We'll put our knit we and crochet together. You can just give me a nice little tushy cushion. <laughs> Technically your tushy should be a cushion already. So that's redundant. Oh, <laughs> that's what it's built for. That's yeah, what it's I know, built for. But there's, Oh, never, never mind. We're not gonna get on that. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna fix this chair situation because when I come back again, when I'm invited again next year, that's the goal. Yeah. Next year when I'm invited back, we. No, I, I, no, I, no, wait. no next year. No, no. Is, You're gonna be back before this year is out. We have our traditional end of the year show. Yeah. This so time. you'll be back for that. Let's put but for those that are still listening, don't forget to go visit the Funky Wear Pig uh, on YouTube and or join. Look at the uh, descriptions down below. You'll find the link for the uh, his YouTube page and Facebook page. Make sure you like and follow him on both of them. Subscribe. You don't have to follow me. It's 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 okay, but it gets a little creepy after a while. So. But well, as long as, you're not, as long as you're not doing a Robin Williams and, you know, okay, we're going to tell the truth. Yeah, I had weed when I was uh, back in high school. And, uh, yes, I did pass gas a couple of steps back. I didn't know if you smelt it, but, you know. <laughs> uh, well, if people are finding me, I'm going to do what I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like the, all the speed racer buttons I'll be pushing, you know. And what's this button do? <laughs> okay. So it's... Uh, <laughs> It's uh um yeah no thanks always for the support the funky wear pig started back at Blog Talk Radio, you know back in those days that's where we met and then yep. I came on over to TMV Cafe when you created that and that was fun and then took a, a long nap it's like a ten year yeah, nap he he, he, said, went, he went into hibernation yeah and then we brought it back on on what the kids call the YouTube that was that wasn't around so much when when we started all this, but, uh, yeah. yeah. And again, it's so, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody trying to find the dot coms and all the, whatever, just type in funky wear pig. I'm kind of like the only one. So we only need one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh -oh. Nobody else wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, TJ right here, right? I got, I'm going to come up with two chairs, two chairs, one for Annie's sit me down, whatever she called it, sit upon and, 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 and one for the TJ seat right here, the party the seat. seat and the special, uh, oh, let's see. Well, you used to have the after party, but you used to, ah, what did you call that? What? The piggy petter seat. The piggy petters. Yeah. Yeah, the, the piggy petter seat. Yeah. Cinnabon. <laughs> your Cinnabon, oh, yeah. The, the Cinnabon. <laughs> yeah, you got to sit on your Cinnabon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Greg, thank you for joining us again. Oh, I know uh, Annie's battery thanks is Thanks for always about having me, die. man. I'm so glad you're here. I'm always happy when you're here. Yeah. And don't forget, guys, we next week next we time. have another guest, and we have a very special guest coming up on, I have to double-check the date, I think it's the 27th, don't quote me on it, yeah, on the 27th, we will actually have Mr. Zombie Zach joining us on the 27th. Really? Really, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Zombie Zach is, is any show's gift. And, and anybody who's ever had Zombie Zach on the show knows exactly what I'm talking about because you literally get the night off. You say, <laughs> here's Zombie Zach. And then he goes. And then he goes. He wasn't real. So, no, I... yeah. Oh, Zombie Zach's a gift. He's a gift. Yeah. Well, and it's our, uh, our Halloween special. And I went back and actually looked. 
Zombie Zach's been part of our Halloween special since we started the on air, uh, the the YouTube. So I can believe that. Um, I kind of love cool you. To keep that routine. Not to interrupt, but don't doesn't um, paranormal have a birthday coming up? Uh yes, we. Oh shoot, yeah, we do. Paranormal's birthday. I have to double check, but I want to. Uh, I knew you would do this to me. No, no, I can find out real quick. Hang on, don't go. I'm gonna away. have to get everybody a chair. Is this what we're all aiming for? Right before we leave, <laughs> people. Are going, By the way, it's my birthday. By the way, Zombie Zach's going to be here. Yeah. Well, let's see. Paranormal went on the air in 2008. Um, actually, in two days. October yeah. 10th. Or October 10th, 8th. That's what I said. October 8th. Two, wow. 8th? Yeah. October okay. 8th, 2008. So technically, I just came on your birthday show. I didn't even realize it was a birthday show. Well, I, I guess what? I didn't either. <laughs> so, hey, woohoo! <laughs> it's, there you it's, go. Happy birthday! Right? Well wow. Well done, sir. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. God. And we're I know October's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, COVID slowed us down. I'm not going to lie about that. COVID it's slowed us down. Everybody, me. yeah. I mean, that's everybody gets a pass on that. Yeah, slowed down everybody, but but you know, like five. You know, it just or, seems or, like a blur now. Just <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I have one more haunted picture. God, I forgot about this. Um. This one is for Greg. We pulled this up. Uh, and I forgot to uh, actually show this. Now, this is a gray, this is a, a, a picture that we came across that we've learned. Uh, well, it haunts Greg quite often. I, let me just put it like that. Um, he does his best to avoid it as much as possible, but unfortunately, the haunting of this happens quite often. All right. So as you can see, <laughs> see, <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> the most haunted picture in the world. Um, <clears throat> I will tell you, I was in shock because there are places that are already doing Christmas decorations and yeah. Christmas stuff. But get this. I ran into a store a couple of days ago to get some items, and they already got Valentine's stuff up. Okay, that is really pushing it. Tell me about it. I'm like, can't we end the year first? <laughs> so I That's think not even on, a real holiday. I think it's they're on your schedule. They, they broke out your calendar, sir. <laughs> That's not even a real holiday. That that's candy stores and, and, and card shops and flower shops made that one up. They said, yeah. holy crap, we just like emptied the till on all the, the holidays throughout December. And we don't get to do anything again until Easter. And then it's springtime or whatever. We need something here. That's yeah. all that is. That's all that is. And then, and then guys get the crap kicked out of them if they forget it. No. Every day is Valentine's Day in our house. And that's the way it should be. Yep. That's, you should get, uh, if you're out there and, and you're, you're, you're feeling the pressure of Valentine's Day every year, no. You know what you do? This coming Wednesday, get your lady love some flowers for no reason because it's Wednesday. For it's, you know, just do wonderful things spontaneously throughout the year and in valentine's day there doesn't have how stupid is that there's one day to celebrate love that's pretty stupid every yeah. if you're if you're in love with somebody every day you should try to do things big and small okay make it trick question ready annie yeah I'm Greg, when was the last time you got your wife flowers never Ah, see, dun, dun, dun. No, there's a reason for that. There's, no, there's a reason for that. 
there's a reason for that. When when I first knew her, she had a boyfriend already. Okay. And he was a rich guy. Because she's not dumb. Well, she wound up being dumb. She wound up with me. But I caught her at a weak moment. She's actually one of the smartest people I've ever met. I caught her at a weak moment. I wore her down until she said, I do. Okay. Uh, um, but um, uh, this guy, this guy, when I when I started stomping around his, his girlfriend up the ante, and literally, I'm not kidding you, every day, forever, bought her flowers and would send them to her work and all this stuff. So I told her, that game's already been done. Nope. Nope, I will That's never you come up with new problems. new things. That's what I do for I my do, life. I do all kinds of things because because yeah. anybody can walk in and just go, "Here's your flower for the day." And yeah. not saying they're not nice. Flowers are nice. Flowers but, are nice. Yeah, they they're are. nice. But, the but when you buy them every die. day, yeah, and they yeah they die, they die. They do, and that's and why know, I like daisies and I like. Um, not moms. What are the others? Carnations and stuff. They last longer. Yeah. How about well, it's Cinnabons? Do the dishes. Cinnabons. There you go. Yeah. You know, Cinnabons are my favorite flower. <laughs> stuff like that. It's the little things that count. It's. I love happen? flowers, and flowers are nice. But there's that's that's somebody after after the fiftieth time you buy somebody flowers that week. You're, you're not trying, buddy. You're not trying. Yeah. yeah. Be, be a little bit more original. You know what I did do. So, ha, 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 while this guy was buying her flowers. Um, you bought her I, a car. I bought her a car because I owned, at that time, L'Oreal. And I had uh -huh. I knew somebody did. <laughs> so I said, car. So. Uh, wait, no. Why don't you just, what, you could have gone with saying that you were the man that owns Victoria's Secret. But that was a secret, so I can't. Oh, the secret I'm Victoria. Secret. Okay. That's, that's the secret. I'm Gretchen and I'm Victoria. Now you know. Ah. So no, no, things I have done, things I have done in the past. Um I spent uh uh over a week writing little love letters to her and hiding them everywhere. Everywhere. So she would open a book she's reading and flip over five pages and there'd be a love letter in there. Uh, uh, she would open up the, the kitchen drawer to get, you know, a knife. One's in there. You know, they would be in her glove compartment in her car. They'd be in her briefcase for work. They were like. And she's still finding them today. She's And the Easter eggs. The kid, I'm bad with the Easter eggs, too. <laughs> we, they're a little easier to find after a while. But <laughs> the boys look at me and I'm like, not me. You guys missed an egg. <laughs> so. But uh, that's one thing I did. They, you know the story of the. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is really mushy romantic. So if you want to have already sign out and, and whatever, that's fine. But. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, here here's here's an actual story, of this is, again not flowers. This is what I did one year for our anniversary. Um, so my lady love has a, a tattoo of a butterfly on her shoulder. So I wrote her a poem, um, basically just saying that everything that I screwed up on yesterday is gone and it's okay. Everything I wanna to do today is possible and everything that I'm looking forward to tomorrow is even better whenever I have the butterfly in my hand. Because we, when we lay together, my arm goes around her around, and it always has on her shoulder. So my hand always covers up the butterfly. It just happens that that's the way we lay together. So I wrote that poem, but I wanted to have it on a really cool picture of the butterfly that's on her shoulder. So I'm trying to figure out how can I snap a picture of her shoulder to get the tattoo of the butterfly to imprint underneath the poem I've written for her without her knowing it. You know, I just can't like, well, you know, and just get her shoulder. Then I remembered she got the tattoo 
along with her best friend. They have matching tattoos. And her best friend got her butterfly on her butt. So I called up her best friend and I said, hey, this is going to sound weird, but I need a picture of your butt. And explained it to her, what I was doing. And she said, oh, hell yeah, I can do that. So she sent me a picture of the butterfly on her butt so I could use that because it's the same way my lady love has. It's the same one she has. So technically speaking, on the wall that my lady love looks at every morning when she wakes up is this beautiful love poem and sentiment I wrote for her. But mostly it's a big picture of her friend's butt. <laughs> That's romantic gonna buy her flowers again ha mm. <clears throat> on that note <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> scoot on out <laughs> yeah you can't top that one no nope, i'm not even gonna try <laughs> now don't get me wrong i know why he did it he wanted to see if i was gonna segue and i could <laughs> yes. i know you could you can't segue but i'm not going to i'm gonna I, I give out. my segue <laughs> To, to zombie Zach. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and Greg, thank you for joining us. Greg, it's we're wonderful to see you as always. Oh, uh, we're gonna party together one day soon. We're we're only we only live like ten minutes away from each other. That's ridiculous. I know. Yeah, right. Well, um, let's see. I hopefully will be up that way um the end of the month. Oh, the the month. that'd be cool. Hopefully. We got to do a Gettysburg trip too. That's what I'm saying. I want to go to Gettysburg for my birthday, and uh, oh, see now I got so excited on this that way in evil. advance because I would have if you had said that way in advance, I would have rented an RV and Stella and I would have traveled up there for the birthday. Oh, this is a time. very this is a very big birthday for me. So yeah, you're forty. Moro? Are you 40? I wish. I'll take it. I'll, 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 I'll take it. But on that note, we'll head out. We'll tell no, you no, guys. No, I want to know how old you are. You can't get away I'll from tell, I'll tell you off the air. I'll tell you off the air. <laughs>